new documentary explores how humans can make contact with extraterrestrials. This is by Stephen Campbell on Collective Spark. When the world learned of a fact ufologists have known for decades that UFOs have been visiting Earth for many years, suddenly the UFO question went from are UFOs real to who is manning them? Now the public has a choice. Either we continue to listen to mainstream media and government to inform us about the issue, or we start listening to the ufologists who have been accurately talking about this for decades, which one we choose will have a huge impact on where this goes. In 2018, footage obtained by the, the, to the Stars Academy from the U.S. Navy showed unidentified flying objects being tracked on a military jet radar and camera. The footage revealed quality images of an incredibly fast-moving object that the Navy knew nothing about. But we ha I have to put my comment in here. It's, it, we don't only have U.S. Navy images. We also have Mexico, Canada, U.K., and other countries that have similar images. But in this case, we're talking about the, UA, the U.S. Navy a drill in 2004, the footage of their um, of San Diego, California, on the West Coast. Now, this footage hit mainstream news everywhere, disclosing to the public that UFOs have, in fact, been been filled by uh, a credible source. Fast forward one year, the U.S. Navy confirms that the video footage was, in fact, authentic, and it did show a UFO flying by. And once again, mainstream media was all over it. But along with the admission of UFOs came a threat narrative. The idea that these crafts could be dangerous, our enemies, and that we should be careful about how we respond and prepare. Of course, this narrative was coming from the same organizations that had lied to the public about UFOs for decades. And now they were admitting this reality. They also intend on controlling the narrative that goes along with it. Dr. Carol Rosen was the first female corporate manager of Fairchild Industries and the spokesperson for Werner von Braun in the last years of his life. She founded the Institute for Security and Cooperation in Outer Space in Washington, D.C., and has testified before Congress on many occasions about space-based weapons. In testimony with Dr. Stephen Greer, Rosen claims that in the later years of her life, Werner von Braun was trying to warn humanity about an emerging narrative that aliens were a threat to humanity. Werner, Dr. Werner von Braun from Germany, from, uh, you know, after the Second World War, he was brought to the United States, um, was a top-ranking SS officer who headed the Nazi rocket program during World War II. He was brought to the U.S. via Operation Paperclip, where the U.S. sees Nazi scientists to come work for them after the war. During testimony, Dr. Carol Rosen stated, the following about what Werner von Braun told her. Quote, the enemy at first, he, uh, the enemy at first, he said, the enemy against whom we're going to build a space-based weapon system, first the Russians are going to be considered the enemy, then terrorists would be identified, and that was soon to follow, and then we, are, we were going to identify third world crazies, we now call them nations of concern, the next enemy was asteroids, and against Asteroids were going to build space-based weapons, and the funniest of all, the funniest one of all, was against what he called aliens or extraterrestrials that would be the final card. And over and over and over during the four years that I knew him and was giving his speeches for him, he would bring up the last card. And remember, he said, and remember, Carol, the last card is the alien card. We're going to have to build space-based weapons against aliens. And all of it, he said, is a lie, end quote. And there's a source here if you want to click on that. Now, according to Rosen, von Braun knew that it was the interest of intelligence agencies to lie to the public about aliens in order to push forth a space weaponization agenda. And right now, here in 220, this is precisely the agenda we're seeing played out as UFOs are disclosed to the public. This is why I stated at the beginning of the article that who we decide to listen to when it comes to an ET story that is emerging is very important. Leaving it to those posing a threat narrative may lead to destructive ends, whereas listening to those with a different message who have been proven to be correct over the years might lead us to peace. The bottom line is, up to this point, human governments have been the face of how humans contact and engage with ETs. 
it's a time that people take this task on by themselves and send the different messages to ETs. Dr. Stephen Greer's new film, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, the film not only discusses quite clearly exactly what this threat narrative looks like and how it's being used to keep humanity in the dark about what's going on with ETs, but it also explores how humans can make contact with ETs themselves. The first aspect of what the film covers will truly give viewers a much better understanding of how to navigate ongoing ET disclosure narratives as they come from the government. It will help viewers unlock a sense of discernment within themselves and begin to see through many narratives coming from popular voices institutions who may be knowingly or unknowingly spreading a false threat narrative. The next aspect of the film is where we dig into solutions from a point of consciousness. Information spreading around the world to wake people up to the reality of ETs is one thing, but affecting global consciousness and creating unity is something else, and this film lays out a plan to make that happen. Personally, I have been practicing contact with ETs for about 11 years, and the content shared in this film does align with the experiences I have had and methods I've used. Never had I had a bad or threatening expect, ex, ex, contact experience, and thus I do not resonate with the general narrative coming from government on this. Truly, I truly believe people should check out this film so regular citizens can be the face of extraterrestrial contact on behalf of humanity, not governments. Now is the time, not next year or the year after now, especially with us being in lockdown, what better time than to go out at night and choose to connect. All right, you look, this is, you know, I happen to think that um, this is very dangerous because it could be demonic entities, obviously. Now, in the movie, you will also learn. That's my comment, but let's go back to the article. You, in the movie, you'll also learn CE5 contact techniques and show the amazing evidence of contact as never before. The consistent results that people doing CE5 experience the, connecting, the connection between consciousness and space, time, and matter, the nature of consciousness as an unbounded field of awareness that transcends the limits of space, time, and matter, and yet is fully present in every point of space and time. This infinite field of consciousness is present within every awake, sentient being, human, and ET. How ET electromagnetic communication systems interface with our consciousness and coherent thought in such a way that any human with a peaceful, sincere intent can make contact now. Remote viewing, a way to view non-local events. Scientific evidence that proves that mind consciousness is not limited to your body or brain, but is a seamless field of awareness that connects all times, places, and matter. How 1% of the population meditating and making peaceful contact can cause a phase transition shift that transforms the entire planet moves humanity into a peaceful future that is interstellar, and take you behind the alien mask, quote-unquote, of deceptive events and phenomena. How deceptive events are created by shadowy, un unacknowledged special access projects and uh, intelligence community that are designed to sow fear and division among humans regarding the ET presence. And this is concerning, of course, what Dr. Stephen Greer's um, videos are about, brand new documentary. They're in the art. They're in the body of the, um, the official trailer number two. Close encounters of the fifth kind. This article, new documentary, explores how humans can make contact with extraterrestrials. Was originally created for Collective Evolution, and is published here under Creative Commons on Collective Spark by Steve McCambly. Please you leave your comments and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.